Hey all, welcome. Whoa, who is this? Hi. <laughs> yeah, Hilda, how are you? <laughs> she hears you. <laughs> <laughs> this is our, uh, for all uh, who, who never saw her, she's actually our mascot. Um, and our uh, true programmer, that's uh, Hilda. Yeah. Um, she's a genius. Yeah, definitely. Compared to both of us, like, yeah. she's, she's really smart. Like, don't yeah. underestimate her. She's, uh, you know, people always, they, 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 they are so funny with dogs because they think they train the dogs, but like mm -hmm. she comes to me <laughs> and scratches me so i <laughs> yeah yeah she gets what she wants definitely yeah 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 she is released our mascot uh, maybe yes. in the future she uh can get recorded too no, no she wants to be petted more no no what did i start what did no, you start go away, oh, little no. fox demon. <laughs> <laughs> okay um so welcome a little bit unorthodox introduction yeah um but that's part of life uh being unorthodox is a good thing from time to time Definitely, Manu, what yeah. do you drink do you drink anything at all yeah i drink uh <laughs> It's fitting to the to the time we're currently in. It's Earl Grey. <laughs> <laughs> okay, maybe. No, really, I'm 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 drinking Earl Grey, and um and it's even it's not a um Earl Grey which comes in a package, but in in that little small, um, prepackaged sizes, you know, like with tea bags. So I I'm really grounding myself to do today and drink some. <laughs> Standard Earl Grey you can find in any hotel. <laughs> yeah. Standard Earl Grey. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. Like those in those shitty hotels where you always get this tea, which you yeah. never want to drink usually. <laughs> Earl Grey. Can't get it everywhere. Yeah, that's part of life. Yeah. Uh, I'm drinking actually Sencha today. Oh, right. Um, okay. Some green tea. I got so tired after work that I decided to give myself some kick in the butt. Yeah, um, Sencha is good for that. Uh, definitely help man like a charm eh? yeah yeah i could need one yeah, of those yeah. too but earl grey is also a little bit kicking but uh, not not as much as sencha i think yeah it's more the sugar in here because otherwise <laughs> it's too too hard to drink <laughs> yeah oh man eh? okay let's get to the topic we all right so much on yeah. the dog and the tea but that's the spice of life there's no wasting in that Okay, um, what are we up to? I prepped task number two uh, for all of you. Um, just that you understand it uh, quickly, the tasks are independent of the lessons. And the goal is no matter where you are in your lessons, if you do the next task, I want to see everything you did before if you ever show up. Um, so it's basically uh, another exercise where you can try to use all the lessons you learned previously mm -hmm. and to uh, to get more used to it. Um, the problem is always with these lessons, you do them once, you forget it. But right. um, yeah. if you have two or three tasks, which you really build, nice code bases with those lessons at hand, it will stick a long more time then. Yeah. Uh, Manu, did you already forget or are you learning? Well, well um, it's a circle. So I, <laughs> I'm always learning, but um, I'm also you know, guilty Hilda will to not forget. Come, come by anymore if you <laughs> if you deliver a shitty project to me. <laughs> I have to solve a quiz first, right? To to know all the uh, what what do we? Yeah, for example, the the change log and settings and stuff like that. Yeah, I have to remember all those, and if I don't remember, then she will <laughs> go straight away. <laughs> she will bite you, man. Yeah, she Ooh, can, uh... she never did that. So yeah, yeah. She doesn't like bad co. Oh, no, she's too much of a charmer, really. She, <laughs> you really need to to be really a bad person that she bites you. It's such yeah. an unbelievable dog. Yeah. Uh yeah, yeah. Um. So uh, the task will be pretty simple. Uh, create a Python program as usual, um, and it should interact with GitHub. Okay. So um, before previously you did some weather data. No, I want you to use the GitHub API, actually, in the background. But Cody, um, what is a CLI? <laughs> Thank you very much. 
I should have written it down actually. Um, that's a good advice. A command line interface. So a command line interface is basically, um, let me quickly show to you. So if you have the command line here and you have something like git running here, that's a command line interface. Mm. Uh, git itself is a command mm -hmm. line interface. Yeah. So just that you uh, people out there understand. Thank you very much, dear Manu. Um, yeah, it's a pleasure. You just gained five minutes of uh, seeing Hilda more. Oh, okay. Okay. That score will be high. <laughs> so delightful, Mr. Earl Grey. <laughs> <laughs> Charming. Charming. What a yeah. pleasant surprise. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Quit the nonsense. <laughs> I think we're getting teed right yeah. now. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, uh, I want you to implement three commands. The first one is to count all the stars of all the repos you have. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, so, or also of a specified user or an organization. That's also possible. So all three options, yourself, a specified user or an organization. The second one, which I want is, um, yeah, to print out just general info about yourself, a specified user or an organization. Sounds a bit repetitive, but I want you to have a bit of a structure. Um, I added a nice, nice gimmick here to print it either out, out uh, normally as default and uh, alternatively also as JSON. So you mm -hmm. can uh, process it with the machine, would be really cool. Yep. Um, and last but not least, of course, um, I like this one, but um, the easy way is to modify your user description by adding a T emoji and a heart. So <laughs> what I mean by that <laughs> is basically um, <clears throat> there is a description somewhere. I, I, I forgot it. Yeah, here. I want you to add in here. Um, you can do it in the front or the end or I don't know. You just think think about how you want to implement it. I don't want to give too many details because that's where people can fuck up and I want them to fuck up to learn. So uh, the description here, another one which I checked, but it's more difficult actually, um, that would be the hard version is to set your status, your user status uh, to a tea emoji with the message drinking tea. Um, and this is actually when you go up here, I want to have this one here, okay? This is the user status and you can actually set it to different emojis here. Mm -hmm. um, and you can send a message here and you can also do some expiration or whatsoever. But what I want you to have this tea emoji here and drinking tea. Okay. Okay. Why is and this That's pretty hard? cool actually. I like that. Setting that from the command line is some good fun. Okay. <laughs> this is considered to be harder than the user description. Yeah, I won't tell you why, okay. but you'll figure it hopefully uh, out right. in, the, in the process. <laughs> all right. Okay. I might, I might be, I might be silly that I overlooked something and it's super simple. But um, when I just, uh, I took a few minutes to check it from their API and I was like, okay, geez, that's going to be a little bit of a longer trip, I guess. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, that's okay. the difficult version. I leave, I leave to the people what you do. You can also first do this one and later see if you fi figure out this one too. Yeah. Um, yeah, maybe before the pull request review because um, code is getting destroyed there. <laughs> that was my experience until now. <laughs> the Hildy Nader comes then, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, two things for everyone out there, including Mr. Manuel. Yes. Um, pleasant surprises here. Um. I want two things. The first one is this program is not just for you. It's also for other people. So um, good software is crafted with love, passion and empathy. You know how every boss always <laughs> tells you at every company and you need to be all empathic and all have feeling. You know, all I want to say is make up your mind. Like good software is really crafted by thinking about how the other person feels when they use the software and how they enrage in a second if it does not work as expected. So I usually always recommend build the tool, <laughs> play a bit around, tweak the behavior. You know, that's a little bit a secret hint for me. And the second one, of course, is like I said previously, all the lessons, none of them shall be left out. I want you to practice the, the the whole procedure 
And if you're a smart person, <clears throat> as every software developer, you copy most of the stuff you did before. <laughs> <laughs> That's also a lesson. <laughs> you copy no, I didn't say that. Yeah. Um, if yeah. you really want to practice well, uh, set it up from, from scratch again. Um, if you feel already tired about it, um, you take a shortcut left and right but yeah don't don't just copy too much but yeah also don't re rewrite everything be be reasonable about where you feel you would like to do it again or if you feel i don't know setting up tests i uh, you forgot it already then set them up again you know mm -hmm. i really just check how how you are in which state you are at, at the moment and and where you need more practice yeah always like the buddhists always say observe yourself you know Watch out where you try to to uh, take shortcuts, where you're lazy and all of that. Watch yourself about that. And that's where you need to go. Yeah, it's like with the computer games. Uh, you're on the right path when there's enemies. So... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Is it supposed to be also like that in life? <laughs> yeah, I think that's... Uh, yeah, that's pretty reasonable. It depends who you make your enemies. You know? <laughs> yeah, yeah. If some people are angry at you, you know you're doing something right, you know, uh, but yeah, yeah. <laughs> not for all people. Yeah, not for all <laughs> circumstances. <laughs> right. Okay. okay, yeah. Yeah, but looks, um, looks fine. Looks like a fun exercise. Uh, yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Look, looks, looks good to me. So, okay. Yeah. Then uh, I wish you all happy coding. You know, and I'll yes. never forget, you are not, if you don't write good code, Hilda will come you and chew your leg off, you know, in one crunch. Maybe um, the... Might take a while, but you will. The user with, um, you, you know this video with, uh, there's multiples, but um, this user who smashed the keyboard so pretty hard and then smashed it against the monitor and then it drops out. It's pretty old, that movie. Um, but this could also be a good user. To just imagine this is what they will do if you write bad code so beware to, to be really uh i don't want to go too deep into it just at the end but that's how i usually think when i write a front end or something like it i really go in and i really become a the, uh, a real ass myself and get super annoyed if i just have to click a second time where it doesn't need to be and that stuff i really you know <laughs> But but I keep that person I keep that in a box you know <laughs> and I don't let him out and and it is good like that. <laughs> yeah 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 I think that's a good approach because there are users out there who are exactly like that and you don't want to make their lives more difficult than it has to be so yeah yeah I most definitely not but there's also too much comfort like too much comfort is not good for people too you know sometimes this. 10% more screws up your whole program lo logic and the users won't thank you anyway for it, you know? Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's those right, two. yeah, yeah. Yeah, there's a balance in everything, so. Yeah, yeah, there's a there's a, a charm, you know, don't get too too comfortable and too lazy, you know, right, that's right. But yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, then um, if you like the task or anything or our channel and course, uh, please subscribe um, yep. down below. And yeah, otherwise, happy coding. See you soon. Yeah, see you guys.